What initiatives are companies taking to significantly reduce e-waste? How can they uncover further value in the supply chain? First, what are we talking about? Uh, in 2021, e-waste represented an incredible amount that is weight equivalent of 144,000 Airbus A380. Can you imagine the parking lot? So companies that have succeeded in fully cutting out e-waste are still exceptions. And they represent the tip of the iceberg with a circular approach, designing waste out from early product development stages. So that ultimately, nothing ends up in landfill or incinerated. Any product keeps some value at end of life. And uncovering value is just one of the challenges for them to minimize their e-waste production together with business model rethinking. How companies can move toward circularity? Well, uh, product life cycle analysis is a uh, first step that's interesting to get the low hanging fruits and to uh, be able to have the visibility with clear metrics to take action. It will feed eco-design with tangible inputs. Simulation brings exploration capacity to find the best options among multiple ones before anything physical exists. It is meaningful at product design stage and also for assembly process definition that conditions repairability and disassembly for refurbishing and recycling. Supply chain collaboration is a major element of the equation. Suppliers really have to be onboarded as trusted partners in the global effort towards security. You may have heard about a European project called ECON, that means European Ecosystem for Green Electronics. This project is gathering 48 European entities, businesses, research centers, universities that are joining forces to propose practical ways toward a zero waste electronic industry in the European Union, addressing chips, circuit boards, and final products. Dassault System is involved uh, in this project, leading the tools and metrics aspect together with the French research center CEA.